If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards at competitive prices, check out our web store at mtgoacademy.com slash store. Okay, second round. See if we can actually uh, play one out here. No, this is a nice start. Uh, we're not going to mulligan this. We also won the die roll. And we get Deepwater Hypnotist probably just into Chosen, which uh, makes this a much, much better card. Let's it keep attacking. I haven't been super impressed by Deepwater Hypnotist, to be honest. But uh, I like two drops, and I like the fact that we can make it a good blocker slash attacker and then maybe even send it into the skies down the line a little bit here. Looks like our opponent had to go down to five. So that's nice. Won't lie. Swamp, okay. Play this thing, say go. And I'll well, see what we draw. Yeah, probably, I think it's probably better just to play Chosen here. Yeah, I think I like playing Chosen here because we can you, we can pick up Deepwater Hypnotist later uh, with Nimbus Nyad and, and keep the beats rolling, but this way we get in for an attack right now and kind of ensure that that keeps happening. And also, of course, get that card draw going. So next turn... If nothing much changes, we're going to be going for a Chorus of the Tides here. Uh, we can battle first. Yeah, I like just playing a Chorus of the Tides. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, one card we have to be, I wouldn't say worried about, but we have to consider was, well, this is interesting now. Oh, that makes it really interesting, actually. So our opponent has played four lands in a row and has played absolutely nothing. Uh, the obvious card here is Divine Verdict. We certainly have the ability to play around it here. The question is, do we want to respect it? I mean, having not seen it, he could also just be stumbling. Remember, he did have to mulligan down quite a bit, and he probably had to keep a sketchy hand. It could just be very land-heavy. What's the worst case scenario for us here? He divine verdicts our chorus of the tides. If that's the case, I think we could probably just go for Nimbus Nyad and chorus of the tides. Net us uh, a scry. If he kills it, we still have two power in the air. I think I like that. And th this way it also makes him have the card that we're fearing here, which he certainly doesn't need to. Miletus Charlatan. You know, I think I'll actually keep that on top. I can play that and uh, Ordeal of Thassa next turn. So I'm going to battle with both here. And it, if we get hit by a... Yeah, see, look, he didn't even have it this time. So this is why I think it's okay to take on some risk and say, look, he probably has it. Like, I would have guessed in that scenario that he was about 60% to have it. But instead, he just has nothing because he had to mulligan down and probably kept a hand that didn't really have a whole lot going on. Uh, we know nothing of his deck. I don't really see how he can make too many changes. Well, I shouldn't say that. We know the colors of his deck. Aquios Form is a card that I, I'm cer certainly fine with bringing in here or bringing in to our deck in general just because it's, it's nice. But I don't think that we need to here. Maybe, maybe we just do this. I mean, I'm not super stoked on Dawn to Dusk. I'm looking, I'm viewing it almost like as a pre-sideboard card, meaning that like I have it in there in case we run into an opponent that has a deck kind of like ours. But if we don't see that, then I'm pretty happy to take it out. Um, This is going to be a keep, but it's not super great. I mean, we've got a clunky five and, a, and, a, and our big six in our opener. Foil Thoughtseize, yeah, at least he got that. He's probably going to take Wingseed Rider, but he should actually take Skirmisher since that's the one that we can cast. 
you know, and we immediately replace our wing steed rider. Again, we're going to play an island in case we draw a nullify. Got to keep that in mind at all times when you've got another island in your hand and, and a card and a draw step coming. Uh, now, though, we have to switch game plans and play our planes in case we draw a plane so that we can play wing steed rider if we want. Ooh, worshippers, I like that. All right, he knew that this was coming, so I'm assuming he's got some way to handle this. But he's going to have to deal with this thing next, and that thing's a machine. Hmm. Gosh, this time I think he has it. This time I am going to play around it. I'm going to get a little tricky here, and I'm not going to attack him this time. Hmm. Now I don't know what the heck's going on. Because if I show him I'm going to play around it, then it kind of forces him to play something from his hand, which I'm assuming he can do here. I'd rather not lose airy worshippers. Then again, I have a lot of action here. So like, I'm not really worried about being threat light. Yeah, I think I just battle here now. Look, I tried to play around it, but if he's going to be this committed... Uh, I think it's time for us to start beating down. All right, well, he doesn't have it anyway. Wing steed. Go ahead. And I'm just going to pay for airy worshippers if we get to untap with it. I mean, sure, we can play a Horizon Scholar, but if Casey's playing some sweeper, like maybe he's trying to get Faded Retribution going or something, I'd rather just use the advantage that we have on the battlefield already. He's got Lash of the Whip. All right, so we're in good shape, that means. Um, yeah, so we just battle here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this deck. It's very strange to, to leave four mana and five cards up and just have stone nothing to do. All right, so we're getting rid of any lands here, obviously. And yeah, we'll take a Chosen by Heliod. It's essentially free at this point. It's going to pump up our Wingsteed Rider. And at the same time, it's it's going to potentially give us something to get back with Dreamfinder. And since we have so much mana available, it's basically like a, a free draw. Now he says, ugh, I don't, dude, I don't know what's going on with you. You've got six lands and five cards in hand. How can you do nothing? 90% lands. Well, I'm sorry, man. That is frustrating. I've got nine power here, so you got to do something. All right, I guess he just doesn't have anything, so we'll see you guys in the final.